Well, hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Um, do you see these Shein glasses? If you want, I can definitely link these glasses in the description box down below. Okay. The background is making me feel very unsettled, so I'm moving. So I have my handy dandy phone. <laughs> Big ups to Montel V because I saw her video on this last year where she was talking about the 12-week plan. Um, go check out her video because she gives major inspo vibes and her tactics are fire because I think she got them from the book the 12 week year or something like that but she broke it down very flawlessly and it made so much sense okay first thing is first write your goals down because without a vision the people will perish that's a little scripture for you today okay <laughs> your little one piece of church for the Sunday all right <laughs> According to Google, you should write your goals down because if you do, you are 42% more likely to actually achieve them. Now, I don't know about you. I'm not really good at math, but I do know that that is almost half, okay? So by you just writing it down, you're nearly halfway there. Please, ma'am, please. Number two, make a plan for how you will achieve that goal and make sure it's measurable. I would make a goal, but I would have no plan on how to get to the goal. And obviously, if it's a goal you've never achieved, you don't know how to get there, but you still need a sort of idea on how you think you can get there. Also, make sure that the steps are measurable because it's easier to track your progress with getting to that goal and, if, and seeing if you're actually making progress or if you're regressing a bit. Tip number three is get an accountability partner. If you're fortunate enough to have trusted friends or a trusted friend or a mentor where you can tell them your goal, you are blessed. Cause this will help you better stay on track to actually completing the goal that you had set. But if you're going this route, get you somebody that actually cares. Now, for those of you who don't have an accountability partner, what I like to use as a close second and maybe even as a first to be honest is google sheets if i find the girl's video i will certainly link it down below and basically she had made a google sheets checklist for every day of the year and she broke it down into like quarters so like q1 q2 q3 q4 she had it color coded and she had next to it all of her labels for the goals that she had set the boxes you get to check off every day and at the end of it like a reward like what happens if you reach this goal for this week at the end of this week or at the end of this month or at the end of this quarter i thought that idea was genius and brilliant and she had like a free template that she made or whatever so i just downloaded it and then i just swapped out what she wrote for an example and then put in my actual goals and i've been using that since last year and let me tell you that will most certainly keep you accountable on everything you said you was gonna do because it's literally giving you your goals in smaller chunks where you can see them like quarterly even monthly even weekly, I mean down to every day, essentially. I'll insert an example of my checklist for 2023 right here. If I can't find that girl's template, then y'all can use mine, that's fine. I'll just figure out how to make it a template accessible to everybody. When you look back on that, you really get to see how much progress has been made. Essentially, it's like a close-up look at the compound effect because at the end of the year, when you take a step back, you can see like how many boxes got checked off that year so along with the accountability buddy for tip number three tip number four is having a weekly planner slash daily checklist so we already talked about daily checklist but yeah you can get a weekly planner okay tip number five is do not or try your best not to have analysis paralysis that's basically when you just plan 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 okay you get it that's basically when you just plan and you actually don't do any executing you get wrapped up in the cycle of like planning to do stuff like oh i got this great idea i'm gonna do this da, da, da. okay i'm gonna write down and when that day and time comes you know where to be found that one is more so i feel like a habit to break because if you do that often you're gonna need to break that habit i ain't got no tips for you on that one that might have to be somebody else's video because for me i used to have analysis paralysis but i guess i found that with actually executing i see the results i want and i feel like it gave me a new like dopamine trigger or something like i have new neural receptors telling me oh oh we like this go execute that because we like how that feels okay tip number six would be 
to have discipline over motivation. This kind of shocked me when I first heard it. I think I saw it on like a reel on Instagram or something. And what I mean by that is like motivation is literally fleeting. You don't always feel like getting up out of bed today, but discipline, that habit you form, or they gonna get that butt out of the bed because discipline is like, we do it regardless. Discipline gets you further than motivation because discipline isn't fleeting, okay? That's a habit that is strongly formed. Okay, tip number seven, find your pain point or your big reason why. I say this because kind of like with the same concept as motivation and how it's fleeting, sometimes you get forget like why you're even trying to achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve. Okay, tip number eight, speak it into existence or I don't know, say it out loud, the power of the tongue. Because when you speak as if, it really pours into your own belief system that it already has happened or that you actually can do it. Or even if you subconsciously speak negatively to yourself about the situation, that can also have a major impact in the reversal. So try and speak positively over your situation. Okay, number nine, celebrate your small wins because they're just as important, honestly, and they give you that boost of encouragement you need along the way. A win is a win is a win is a win! Number 10 is to have patience. But yeah, you have to be patient because some goals actually do take longer than others within that same breath. Don't mistake that for undermining how much you can actually get done within a year. I think I'm on number 11. Okay, so if you're not seeing progress, assess the situation and pivot accordingly. If you're doing a bunch of like and you're like not seeing progress after a few months, then something might be off. So maybe go back to the draw board and as I like to say never change the goal always change the plan figure that out as quickly as you can and make small tweaks and changes if you're not sure what you're doing wrong do testing just try and do something slightly different and see if that works what did, what did Einstein say um insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results I hope that's Einstein because that's embarrassing if it's not somebody granddaddy said that and they were right I think I'm on number 12 if possible have friends or people with similar goals as you. Birds of a feather flock together. Some people have like different goals than you and they're not exactly the same. Just like surround yourself with people who have good discipline about their own goals and good habits that they formed in creating the life that they most enjoy. Okay, actually 13 and 14 kind of go hand in hand. So when you're tired of listening to music, listen to a podcast to help you get motivated and or go to Pinterest for inspiration. For inspiration. Anytime I open that app, I just feel like <gasps> I am resuscitated back to life, okay? Okay, and last but not least, I guess we'll just call this number 15. Don't have too many goals or you're not gonna know which to focus on. You need to have a couple of goals that you know you can actually prioritize for this year. When you have too many goals, cause I used to do this all the time. I would have a list of like 25 goals. And I'm like, this is what I want to do and have done by the end of the year. And it's like, sis, who are you talking to? When you have too many goals, you just lose focus. Any of them really be a priority. Oh, I guess this is like a bonus one, but it kind of goes in with it, but I didn't list it. Make sure you also have a vision board. I feel like vision boards are so essential because they really help you internalize what your dream reality is to externalize. I personally am more into the digital vision boards nowadays, but if you wanna just find an excuse to hang out with friends and have good like community, that's really a fun idea to do. You just get on the laptop and you go to Pinterest, you get all the pictures that inspire you. You can put them in a private board also so that nobody can see it. And then you can just download those pictures and put them into like Canva. That's what I use to make my vision board. Anything where you can like put the pictures side by side. You can also use Microsoft Word. And then when you're done, you can put them as your desktop screensaver, like I have mine, or you can put them as your phone lock screen or your home screen. I have mine on my um, home screen as well, but they're slightly different pictures. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you already have not. Push the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video. Hope that we all create a beautiful life for ourselves this year and all the following years to come. Okay, bye guys, see you in the next video.